Josh Ham, I play bass for Planet Shakers, and this is the Yamaha BBNE2. It's a very nice bass, as you can see. I got it in the black. Nathan East, it's his signature bass. He plays it in the white, but I want it to be different because I'm a bit different to him. I look different, so I may as well get a bass that looks different as well. The bass that I had uh, previous to this one, it was a good bass, but there were a few things that um, weren't as good as the Yamaha BBNE. One thing that the other bass um, was really having issues with was it was very noisy. It had noiseless pickups, but they still generated noise. And so when I play in big stadiums or even in the studio, or if there were lights on, it would just have this buzz constantly. The, the BBNE is actually silent. And it's amazing. When I'm not playing anything, there's no noise coming out of it. And it's it's changed the game. It means that I can actually stop playing without having to turn my volume down because it's a very quiet bass. It's wonderful. It also goes all the way up to 24 frets, which is very fun. It means that I can go all the way up to a high G, which is really good because a lot of our songs um, are in E flat, for example. So we're going up to a nice high major third. It's very nice. This bass also has, um, as you can see down here, it's got your volume uh, knob nice and close to the strings, which means that while I'm playing, I can do kind of swells in with my pinky while I'm playing that, which is really nice in a worship moment where I'm just trying to do like a nice underlying subtle thing where I'm not too present, but there's a little bit of a, a, a nice bass underlying there. But then also I can quickly turn myself off if it calls for that or that kind of thing. And then it has the, the pickup selector, the three band EQ. And then this knob down here, you see it's a, a black knob, which is different to all the other nice gold knobs. This one's actually a mid boost that you can, with this switch, activate and deactivate, which is really cool and really nice. It means that I can get certain mid frequencies that I, I want to pop out to pop out even more. Or if there's a mid frequency that's not working in a certain PA or in a certain song, I can, can isolate that frequency and, and take that out. So. Having that there at my disposal at any point is just super handy and much easier than getting an extra pedal or that kind of thing. Planet Shakers is uh, stylistically very versatile. There's no one genre that we really stick to. One song could be a, a dance anthem, the next song could be a crazy slap fest, the next one could be just a, a nice ballad. And this bass is really good and really versatile in being able to play all of those different styles depending on what we're wanting to do. There is a, a couple of songs that are a bit more funky, Motowny, and if you roll the bass onto the, the neck pickup, it actually gives a really nice P-bass kind of Motowny feel and sound to it, which has been more muffled and grunty. Um, but then if you roll it back and a little bit towards the bridge, you can actually get a really nice slap sound out of it as well. So it's it's got uh, aspects from both ends of the spectrum, which is really cool. And then you can add a little bit of distortion to give it that grunt and it, it copes with distortion really well. But then also one thing I love about this bass is it sits really well in the mix. So whether we're live or in the studio, it actually has such a nice warmth and such a nice body that it doesn't matter what song we're playing, it just, it's like glue. It just kind of fits in the mix really well. This 
bass is actually a great bass. It feels really good, the string spacing is really nice, the neck's a good length, it, it's not too heavy, which is really good because we jump around a lot on stage and I get a sore back. So this is actually really comfortable, it plays really well, it sounds really good in the mix, it's a really nice bass.